Good morning and welcome to our Tuesday's online story time. I am so glad that you are tuning in this morning or this afternoon, whenever you happen to be watching it. My name is Miss Jenna. I'm from the Chippewa Falls Public Library and I miss you guys so much, but I'm glad that we are being safe and I'm also very glad that I can still share some of my favorite songs and finger plays and stories with you. This morning, we are going to do Say Hello to Your Toes a little bit differently. Our theme today is colors and animals, and I brought along a few friends to help us sing our hello song. My first friend is somebody you might recognize. Do you know what this is? Who is that? It has a white head and a white tail and a brown body and a yellow beak. That's a bald eagle. So we're gonna say hello to the eagle. Say hello to the eagle. Hello eagle, hello eagle. Say hello to the eagle. Hello, eagle. It's going to fly away. Let's see, who do we have next? Ooh, do you know what kind of bird this is? What color is the bird? It's mainly black. I see a couple spots of red, red on the wing and on his eye. What color is his beak? Gray. And there's a little stripe of yellow. This is a red-winged blackbird. Maybe you've seen some red-winged blackbirds outside your window or when you've been on walks or driving in the car. We'll say hello to the blackbird. Say hello to the blackbird. Hello, blackbird. Hello, blackbird. Say hello to the blackbird. Hello, blackbird. Okay. Blackbird's going to fly away. Oh, here's a very colorful bird. They're starting to make some appearances around Chippewa. Do you know who this is? I'm going to show off all of the beautiful colors. This is called an Oriole. What colors do you see on the Oriole? Let's we'll start with the beak. What color is the beak? Gray, just like the red-winged blackbird. I see a lot of black on his head and tail. And what's the last color? Kind of an orangish yellow. So we'll say, Good morning to the Oriole. Say hello to the Oriole. Hello, Oriole. Hello, Oriole. Say hello to the Oriole. Hello, Oriole. I have one more bird, and this one happens to be my absolute favorite bird. I love the sounds they make. I love watching them on the water. I would love to watch them under the water. They can dive really deep. It is a loon. Have you ever seen a loon before? Sometimes they're hard to spot. They're black and white feathers look a lot like water and sun, the sunlight reflecting off of the water. And they always have a nice bright red eye. So we'll say good morning to the loon. Say hello to the loon. Hello loon. Hello loon. Say hello to the loon. Hello loon. Whoop. <laughs> he was trying to dive. Shoo! Well, that was our good morning song to the birds. Now let's say good morning to our friends. So 
So we'll wave and we'll say hello to our friends. Say hello to your friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. Say hello to your friends. Hello friends. Thank you friends for joining us today. I have two more songs and finger plays and one story for us today. Our first finger play is called Grandma's Glasses. Now, I'm already wearing glasses. I'm gonna take them off and I'm not gonna be able to see very well but I want you to see the color of my glasses. They're a dark green on the outside. And then on the inside, what color are they? Pink. So I want you to pretend that you're wearing glasses, just like that. If you wear glasses, what color are your glasses? If you don't wear glasses, what color would you want them? Hmm. All right, and then we're going to tap our head or you can make a hat. I'm gonna make a triangle hat. And then you're gonna fold your hands in your lap. And then you're gonna make glasses again. And then you can make a different hat. I made a triangle at the beginning I think I'm going to make a tall hat, or maybe you can make a party hat. <laughs> and then we're going to fold our arms. And then we're going to fall asleep. <sighs> if you can't actually fall asleep, you can just pretend. <sighs> this is called Grandma's Glasses. Here are the words for you right here. So we'll start off with our glasses. These are Grandma's Glasses. This is grandma's hat. This is the way she folds her hand and lays them in her lap. Here are grandpa's glasses. Here is grandpa's hat. And here's the way he folds his arms and takes a little nap. I like this finger play because you can insert the names of your family or your friends or your teachers or your pets or your stuffed animals, anybody you want. So we're going to do Jenna and Jesse. Here are Jenna's glasses. This is Jenna's hat. This is the way she folds her hands and lays them in her lap. Now, Jessie, here are Jessie's glasses. And here is Jessie's hat. Here's the way she folds her arms and takes a little nap. <sighs> the last time we do it, you can put in whose ever name you want. You can do two different names or you can do one name. Maybe you want to do your name or maybe you're watching this video with your mom or your brother or your dad or a grandma or a friend. So I'll give you a few moments to decide together which names you're going to do. And remember, if you have too many names to do this time, you can do this finger play again after story time. Okay, are you ready? I'm going to leave the name blank and you can put the name in for me, okay? Here are glasses. This is hat. This is the way she folds her hands and lays them in her lap. Here are glasses. Here is hat. And here's the way folds arms and takes a little nap.
Our song today is a great one that you can do with babies, or if you are an older kid, you can stand up and do this song with me too. We'll do it a couple different times. So I don't have a baby with me, but I do have a bear. So I'm going to pretend bear is a baby. It's called Spots, Spots, Spots. This is a fun one that you can do if you're giving your baby a bath or changing diapers and baby's a little wiggly. It's a really goofy, goofy, tickly song. It goes like this. Spots, 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 spots. A leopard has lots of spots. What a lot of spots he's got. A tiger stripes are always nice. But a leopard has lots of spots. Spots, 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 spots. A leopard has lots of spots. What a lot of spots he's got. A tiger stripes are always nice. But a leopard has lots of spots. Spots, 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 spots. I'm going to put the bear down. And we're going to stand up and we're going to do it with the different actions. Move my chair over. You want a lot of room. <clears throat> we're going to spot the air. We're going to poke the air like we're giving it spots. Or if you want to tickle yourself, you can give spots to yourself. And then we'll draw stripes and go back to doing spots. Are you ready? Here we go. Spots, 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 spots. A leopard has lots of spots. What a lot of spots he's got. A tiger stripes are always nice. But a leopard has lots of spots. Spots, 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 spots. Something else you can do, you can clap. And then when we do the stripes, you can rub your hands together. And make that nice soft noise. Are you ready? Spots, 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 spots. A leopard has lots of spots. What a lot of spots he's got. A tiger stripes are always nice, but a leopard has lots of spots. Spots, 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 spots. What else could we do? Let's try stomping. We can stomp for spots, and then you can drag your foot on the ground to make stripes. Are you ready? Spots, 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 spots. A leopard has lots of spots. What a lot of spots he's got. A tiger stripes are always nice. But a leopard has lots of spots. Spots, 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 spots. All right, another thing you can do if you're sitting in the car and you want to sing this song, you can put spots on your hand. <laughs> I'll get down a little bit. Spots, 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 spots. A leopard has lots of spots. What a lot of spots he's got. A tiger stripes are always nice. But a leopard has lots of spots. Spots, 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 spots. All right, we'll go back to poking holes in the air for the spots. We'll do this one last time. Are you ready? Let's go. Spots, 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 spots. A leopard has lots of spots. What a lot of spots he's got. A tiger stripes are always nice. But a leopard has lots of spots. Spots, 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 spots. <laughs> that one's really silly. And you can just keep on going and going and going. Our story today is by one of my favorite European artists who lived a long time ago. And I'm so glad that he was able to create art while he could. His name is Vincent van Gogh. And the story is called Vincent's Colors. The words and pictures are by Vincent van Gogh and the Metropolitan Museum of Art put out this book. Now you can't see all of it because some of the um, word is underneath this flap, but this is Vincent's signature. So there's a V hiding I-N-C-E-N-T. 
I want to thank Chronicle Books for allowing us to share this book with you. I hope you enjoy it. Vincent's Colors. There he is. He's wearing a straw hat. Vincent van Gogh was an artist who loved bright colors. He was born in the Netherlands, where the rain can make things seem dark and gloomy. When he grew up, he eventually moved to the south of France, where the sun is stronger and the colors brighter. Vincent wrote many letters to his brother, Theo. In them, he often described his dynamic, colorful paintings. We'll get to see them in just a second. Here are a few of his paintings and what he said about them. A yellow sky with yellow sun. Can you point to the yellow sun? Right there. And then we can see the sun's rays coming out of the sun. Who do you think that is walking? A jug in squares of blue and white. Can you find the jug that is blue and white? We have a couple different things to choose from. There it is right here. A reddish cap and orange bricks. There's the orange bricks. And there's the red hat. Our finger play included hats, didn't it? Look at this guy has some fun decorations on his collar and on his jacket. And he has a mustache. Do you know anybody with a mustache? Twelve flowers that are light on light. There's all the flowers. What color are they? Yellows and oranges. Do you know what type of flower these are? Sunflowers. Trees gray green with a pink sky. They are kind of gray green, aren't they? And there's the pink sky. I see somebody's climbing a ladder. I wonder what they're doing with these trees. What do you think? Tell your adult what you think they're doing to the trees. Or maybe they're taking something off the trees. Cypresses of a bottle green hue. This type of tree is called a cypress tree. Let's take a closer look. Can you see all the swirls and curly cues that he did when Vincent van Gogh painted this painting? Look at the clouds in the sky. Can you make little twirlies with your finger? Can you make them bigger? How big can you make a big twirly? Whoa! <laughs> Some very yellow buttercups. Look closer. What other flowers do you see? There's some purple irises and there's some blue flowers. And what's happening in the back of the painting? Do you see the buildings? And all the ground is yellow too. Now we're in the city. Roses in a green vase. What color are the roses? White, yes. And there's the big green vase. A window with a green shutter. Can you find the window with the green shutter? Right there. 
do you know what this is? That was how people got around before cars. Some people walked or rode horses. Some people rode in carriages that were pulled by horses or oxen. A lady's clothes in black, black, black. What is that lady doing? Tell your adult what she's doing. She's reading a book. What am I doing? I'm reading a book too. We have that in common, don't we? Two chairs, the yellow of fresh butter. Can you count the two chairs that are yellow like fresh butter? Can you point to them? One, two. Can you point to Vincent van Gogh's bed? He has two pillows on his bed. Can you point to his window? Where's Vincent van Gogh's window? Yeah, right there. There's a mirror. So this was Vincent van Gogh's actual room. And he painted it. He painted it multiple times, actually. Do you like to paint things? I like to paint on paper and aluminum foil. Leaves of silver turning to green. Stars sparkling, greenish, yellow, white. Can you see the reflection? There's all of the buildings with their candles glowing and then the light is reflecting on the water and then there's the stars twinkling in the sky. Can you twinkle stars? Twinkle, twinkle. Do you know a song about a twinkling star? Should we do it together? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. A big bunch of violet irises. Those are very colorful, aren't they? We had a green vase earlier. What color is this vase? White, yeah. And in my head, a starry night. Look at all the swirly stars and the town below. And what's up there in the corner? A crescent moon. The end. This book is available to be checked out from the library. So if you want to learn more about the individual paintings in this book, you can check it out and read the descriptions. The end. Do you have a favorite way you like to create art? Vincent van Gogh's was painting. Maybe you really like to color or use chalk or make collages. There are lots of fun ways that we can create art. For another indoor activity related to our spots song that we did, take a paintbrush into the bathtub and you can paint different stripes and spots with the water on the wall or on the sides of the tub or on your tummy. For an outdoor activity inspired by Vincent van Gogh, he used to walk miles and miles and miles to find his outdoor locations to paint. You don't have to walk that far. You can take your art supplies out to your yard or your driveway, and you can be inspired by the buildings and the people and the natural objects that are around you. Some of the things that inspired Vincent van Gogh were other people walking, haystacks, flowers, 
we saw a lot of flowers in our book, didn't we? Trees. He was inspired by lots of things in nature. What's going to inspire you? Thank you so much for joining us for story time today. You are absolutely wonderful. I hope you're finding joy together in the little moments throughout your day. I hope that our story times are bringing you a little bit of joy and a fun way to connect together while we are at home. Take care. We miss you. Have a great day.